rectilinear motion and derivatives. So first we define rectilinear motion. So pag sinabi nating rectilinear motion, it is uh, any motion along a straight line. So, yan yung tinatawag natin na rectilinear motion. So, for example, meron kang uh, stone, tapos hindi na ito siya pataas. So, that is uh, motion along straight line, tapos bumagsak siya, another motion along straight line. Okay, so, yun ang tinatawag natin na rectilinear, or kaya yung velocity, or yung acceleration. But that is uh, the product of rectilinear motion. Yun yung mga napoproduce niya. So, kapag ang topic is rectilinear motion, laging nandyan yung first, the displacement. Okay? So, yung displacement, that is the change in uh, the place. Kaya nga, na-displace siya or some uh, measurement or distance from the origin to a certain point. Then, velocity. Okay? And, acceleration So in this lesson, pag-aaralan natin yung uh, connection ng derivatives into rectilinear motions. Paano natin siya i-coconnect sa derivative? So ngayon, yung displacement, pwede natin siyang i-represent as a function. Say for instance, uh, s s as a function of t, okay? So, yung S na yan, yan yung displacement. Ginawa ko lang siyang S kasi pag nag-derivative tayo ng displacement, so D, uh, S yun. Pangit naman kung letter D pa rin yung displacement natin dyan. Dito sa velocity, um, pwede natin siyang i-denote as small letter V at saka yung acceleration as small letter A. Okay? So, for instance, yung i-derivative natin yung displacement that is like this ang velocity is equals to ds or the derivative of the displacement in terms of time okay while the acceleration is the change in the velocity over the change in time or simply that is equals to the derivative of the velocity over time. Okay? So, ito yung ibig sabihin ng rectilinear motion. So, we can figure out that it is uh, the process of derivation. So, for instance, yung displacement is the equation or the function. Now, kapag naganap tayo ng velocity, pwede natin siyang i-assume or i-predict that it does, that the velocity is the y prime or the first derivative. Diba? While yung acceleration naman is the second derivative. Okay, so so it follows that the second derivative of displacement will give us the acceleration. So example, example, if the displacement in meters at time t in seconds of an object is given by the equation s is equals to 4 p cube plus 7 t squared minus 2 t, find the acceleration at time t is equals to 10. Okay, so sabi nga natin kanina, yung displacement is yung um, equation, so yung function, ito yung ating displacement or yung ating S. So yun, pag naghanap tayo ng velocity, that is equals to the first derivative of the displacement. Okay, so pwede natin siyang i-derivative, so that is equals to s prime is equals to 12t raised to 2 plus 14t minus the constant 2. Okay? So, ito yung ating velocity. Kaso, hindi po yan yung tinatanong. Ang tanong, find the acceleration at time t. Ngayon, bakit hinanap natin yung velocity na? Ang tinatanong naman pala is acceleration. Kasi nga sabi ko kanina, in terms of derivatives, Yung velocity natin is the first derivative while the acceleration is the second derivative. So, paano tayo mag-jump into the second derivative kung hindi tayo nag-first derivative? So, that is now the um, 
importance of getting the velocity first. So this time, pwede na natin siyang isolve for the acceleration or the second derivative niya that is equals to second derivative is equals to 24t plus the constant 14. Okay, may eliminate na yung negative 2 dyan. So this is now your acceleration. Ngayon, hindi pa yan yung ating sagot. While, kasi ang sabi, find the acceleration at time t is equals to 10. Di ba we have the equation, yung ating second derivative that is 24t plus 14. Now, you can get the acceleration at time t by replacing uh, the value of t. 24 times t, 10 plus 14. So, that is equals to 240 plus 14. That is equals to 254. Ngayon, ibalik natin yung function. Di ba itong uh, function na ito, yung displacement na ito is a function of s in terms of t. Okay, para lang siyang f of x. Ito, s of t. Ngayon, itong 254, this is now the acceleration with the unit meter per second squared. Okay? So, ito na yung hinahanap natin, acceleration, kapag yung time natin is 10 seconds. So, another example, the position of a particle is given by the equation S is equals to F of T, and that is equals to T cubed minus 60 squared plus 90, where T is measured in seconds and S in meters. So, yun. So, itong equations na to, na, that is in terms of seconds in, and meters. First question, find the velocity at time T. So, from the displacement or yung equation natin that is equals to S is equals to T cubed minus 60 squared plus 90, get the first derivative that is 3T squared minus 12T plus 9. So, yan yung ating velocity at time T. Next question. What is the velocity... after 2 seconds and after 4 seconds okay so yun lang yung gagamitin nating equation yung ating uh, velocity or yung ating uh, y yung ating first derivative that is equals to s prime 3t squared minus 12t plus 9 so replace the value of uh, t for, unahin natin yung 2 seconds muna t is equals to 2 seconds so that would be 3 times 2 raised to 2 minus 12 times 2 plus 9 simplifying the equation this will give us um, negative 3 meter per second So, how about kapag yung t natin is equals to 4 seconds? So, that would be s prime is equals to 3 times 4 squared minus 12 times 4 plus 9 or that is equals to 9 meter per second. Next question. When is the particle at rest. Okay. So, in this case, pwede natin i-equate yung ating uh, equation, yung ating S prime to equals to 0. S prime is equals to 0. Okay. Dahil yung velocity dyan is equals to 0. Okay. So, ngayon, kahanapin natin kung ano yung kanyang time. So, therefore, you have to substitute the value of uh, I mean, you have to equate the equation is equals to 0. So, 3t squared minus 12t plus 9 is equals to 0. So, we have to divide both sides by t. This would cancel t squared minus 4, mm -hmm, 4t plus 3 is equals to 0. Ngayon, t. So, dahil is squared yan, so we will get two values of t. 
So, simplifying equation, this would be uh, quantity t minus 3 times t minus 1 is equal to 0. So, ito muna, t minus 3 is equal to 0 or t is equal to 3 seconds. While this one, t minus 1 is equal to 0, t is equal to 1 or t is equal to 1 second. So, ito yung sagot dito sa number I letter C. Next question, when is the particle moving forward in the positive position? So, in this case, you have to equate again uh, the equation uh, greater than 0. Kasi di ba sa number line, yung positive value is greater than 0 while the negative value is less than 0. So, this would equals to 3 squared, uh, 3t squared minus 12t plus 9 that is greater than 0. So, find the zeros. Ayan, find zeros. And this will give us t and t is equals to 1 and 3. Ngayon, kapag nahanap mo na yung mga zeros or value of zeros dyan, you have to uh, graph into the Cartesian plane. So, ito yung x and y. And ito yung, uh, say for instance, ito yung 1, 2, 3. Ngayon, nandito siya dadaan sa 1 and 3. Ang sabi dyan, particle moving forward in the positive position. So, it means yung parabola natin is going upward. Ayan. So, magdodraw tayo ng parabola going upward. Like this. So, yung situation na to, this is S prime is greater than 0. Okay? So, it means that Dito sa left, left ba? Left side, ito. Ito yung pinag-uusapan natin. 1, and then, dito naman sa right, 3. So, yung ating t, pag right side yung pag-uusapan natin is greater than 3. Kasi yung ating arrow or yung, yung movement ng particle is going upward towards positive 3. While sa left naman, yung t natin is less than 1 kasi papasok naman siya going to 0 so less uh, less or equal to 0 bakit ayaw? ayan so ito yung ating uh, condition dyan sa graph na yan next question draw a diagram to represent the motion of a particle so sabi natin dun sa uh, unang slide natin kanina Yung t natin is the time in terms in, t, in terms of seconds at yung s naman is the position in terms of meters. Okay, ayan. So, it means that magkikreate tayo ng table in terms of t and s. Tapos, uh, lalagyan natin siya ng value. Say, for instance, um, sa zero, yung time natin is mag-origin muna tayo sa zero. And then, pwedeng uh, at 1 second. After that, after 3 seconds. And after 5 seconds. Say, for instance lang. Pero, pwede mo naman siyang baguhin. Depende sa gusto mong ibigay na given time. Ngayon, yun yung isa-substitute natin dun sa ating equation. So, balikan natin yung equation. So, yung ating equation is equals to 3 cube minus 60 squared plus 9x. Okay? So, ilalagyan mo lang siya ng, ay, papal, x ba? 9t. Mali. Ayan. So, replace the value of t equals to 0. And that would equals to, uh, when time is 0, the position is 0. Next, when time is 1 second, that is equals to 1 squared minus 6 times 1 squared, ay, cube pala to plus 9 times 1. So, this would equals to um, 4. Tapos, kapag 3 naman, 3 seconds naman yung time, that is equals to 0. And kapag 5 naman yung 5 seconds yung time, that is equals to 20 meters. Yan. So, sabi, draw a diagram. So, ito lang siya. Gawa ka ng parang time um, to 0, 4, and then 20. So, at time 0, 
zero pa siya. Nandito pa siya. Pero papunta siya dito sa right. Ayan. Pag 1 yung uh, pag 1 second yung kanyang position ay nandun sa 4 meters. Okay. Tapos pag 3 seconds bumalik siya doon ang position niya sa zero. Okay. Ito na. And then pag 5 seconds papunta siya dito sa right with 20 meters. Okay. So, ito na yun. Ito 4. Ito ay 4. Ngayon, pwede na natin din isunod yung total distance traveled by the particle. So, yun. So, next question kasi yun. So, that is equals to uh, distance is equals to 20 plus 4 plus 4. Saan ang galing yung isang 4? Kasi di ba pag ito bumalik dito, yung nag-travel niya, hindi naman talaga zero. Nag-travel siya ng same amount that is equals to 4 meters. So that would be equals to 20 plus 4 plus 4 is 28 meters in total. Next question, find the acceleration at time t and after 4 seconds. So ibalik natin yung ating displacement equation that is equals to s is equals to 3t. Um, tama ba? Mm -hmm. Yung ating uh, displacement equation is T cube minus 6T squared plus 9T. Ngayon yung ating S prime which is the velocity is equals to 3T squared minus 12T plus 9 yung ating acceleration which is the second derivative is equals to mm -hmm, 6t minus 12 okay so ito na yung ating acceleration at time t so meron pang tanong find the acceleration after 4 seconds so just I replace the value of t that is equals to uh, 6 times 4 minus 12. This would give us um, 12. Anong ilan ba ito? 24 minus 12 is 12. Okay, 12 meter per second squared. So, ito yung sagot naman dito sa find the acceleration at 4 seconds or after 4 seconds. So, ganun po tayo mag-solve ng ating rectilinear uh, motion with derivatives. Recall nyo lang yung, ano, yung application ng physics in terms of rectilinear motion and then apply the, the rules of uh, differentiation. Yung tinuro natin dun sa mga nakaraang module. Tapos, this is just the higher order derivative. Kasi, so, in your module, kindly answer all the activity exercises there.